Hey, uh, YouTube. Um, thought I'd do some uh, videos related to kitchen knives, but I'm not actually going to review kitchen knives uh, in this video. I wanted to talk about, um, I mentioned in some of my other uh, knife videos, um, the sort of un, uh, the natural wood uh, versus like paca wood or diamond wood, which is that uh, epoxy laminated wood. So I wanted to kind of do a quick video on this and kind of show the differences between the two and uh, see what, you know, individual preferences might be. And uh, so I have two kitchen knives here. Um, this one is uh, actually a newer knife compared to this one. Um, I use this one on a regular basis. I do a lot of Chinese style cooking. So this is actually a perfect knife, in my opinion, for my day-to-day -day use um, because most of the dishes I do are uh, Chinese style, Chinese cuisine. Um, this is an older knife I have. It's a shun, uh, nakiri. They call it sort of the vegetable cleaver. Uh, you can see, you know, just the, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, but you can see the blade is uh, quite scuffed up. Um, you know, it's it's seen better days. Um, I've had this knife for years, so it's gone through you know um, quite a lot. Um, really, you know, com by comparison to this knife, which is newer, you know, it still has a fair amount of scuffing from like you know washing and whatnot. But um, this is a Chinese knife. It's a sort of semi construction. Um, but what we're focusing on is not the blade or anything. It's more actually about the handles. So here we have a natural rosewood handle. It's, uh, tanged in here and you can kind of see it's, uh, I've actually oiled this from time to time. So that's why the surface here is, uh, you know, still quite good. Um, but sometimes the oil doesn't seep into the crevices so much. So it's still on the drier side. Um, but over time, you know, with water, cause you wash the knife on a regular basis, especially with kitchen knives since, you know, whatever you're cooking, uh, you cut up raw meat and then, you know, want to switch to cutting up like vegetables and whatnot, then, um, you have to wash it. So you, I wash this knife, you know, several times a day, you know, uh, depending on my food prep and you can see already here that, um, yeah, some of the wood is already starting to like, uh, get deteriorating you know um so spread out dry and then cracking a little bit you know um and i've only had this knife maybe uh two years roughly roughly two years um compared to this knife i've had about seven years okay and this is a paka wood handle so yeah, it's it's been banged up a little bit, you can see here. But the wood laminate, you can tell it's still quite solid. Um, not much in terms of cracking and whatnot. And when I use this knife, uh, it, you know, gone through as much washings and whatnot. Um, but you can see it's not, you know, there's some scuffing here, but not anywhere near in terms of uh, how quickly it's deteriorating for the natural wood. I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages, of course. I mean, the Paca wood, in general, um, it doesn't have as much of a texture compared to natural wood, of course. Um, but it's it still has that nice sort of wood grain feel to it if you really, you know, grip it. And um, it's warm in the hand. So compared to, like, um, like stainless steel or the... Uh, um, like plastic type of grips. I, I really still prefer the either Paca wood or the natural wood. Um, so really, yeah, there, there is a difference between the two. Um, so for kitchen knives, um, I would love to get this particular knife if they had sort of like a wood laminate uh, type of handle, but unfortunately they, they don't have that style. And I really, let me zoom out a little bit. I really like this style of knife because it's a combination between the my two favorite styles of knife for uh, kitchen um, use. Uh, I've had this knife for a while, um, but it, you can see here this you know it is a Japanese style uh, cleaver, so it is uh, relatively smaller. 
Um, so when I'm making certain dishes, like if I'm like trying to smash ginger or garlic with it, or trying to scoop up a lot of like, um, sliced vegetables, it's got a small surface area that, you know, so it involves a lot more work. Um, comparison to, so my more formal kitchen cleaver is this one, the Shun, um, Chinese style cleaver. And I like, I use this knife uh, for like, if I'm preparing, you know, holiday meals or whatnot, this one's more on my day-to-day -day use and I'll, I'll just kind of share what the reason why. Um, this knife is, you know, a traditional style kitchen uh, or Chinese cleaver. So it's uh, great for cutting um, and it's got a great large surface area, smashing ginger or garlic, um, you know, very easy to do, convenient. Um, and um, it's got, you know, nice long blade style and whatnot. Um, it's got a little bit of curvature around the tip, so it provides for the rocking motions when you're doing um, sort of ch uh, chisel type uh, or uh, rocking style cuts and whatnot. So um, this is my sort of uh, general use kitchen cleaver, which is uh, one of the sort of more traditional style um, kitchen knives that I use. My favorite style is actually the um, Santoku uh, knife here. So this is the Santoku from Shun as well. I basically built my own set. Um, so this is my sort of uh, kitchen knife set, if you will. Only three knives. I don't need like a large, you know, uh, set of knives so uh, when I'm making preparing holiday meals these are pretty much the only three knives that I need and I bought this uh, magnetic bamboo um, holder for the knives so I would just basically stand it up and uh, if I need to do fine precision work I have a paring knife but general use I would use between either the santoku or the uh, cleaver the Chinese cleaver so that's what I've been using on a regular basis, uh, especially, you know, for holiday meals and whatnot. But for like general, you know, day-to-day uh, -day use, I like this knife. I really do. Um, it's a sort of a hybrid between the Santoku. So you can see the blade shape is very similar to a Santoku. Um, yet uh, it's also got the width for a, a Chinese cleaver. You know, not as wide, but enough so when i'm actually you know chopping up vegetables or whatnot i can scoop it up and put it into my wok very easily so um yeah i really wish i could get a better handle on this and they don't actually come out with this style of chinese cleaver much um this is a chinese uh brand uh shiba um that oh, that's the only one that i found thus far that comes out with this style of knife uh, I would love to see, you know, um, I, I looked at the sort of, they call it the wide Santoku from Shun, um, which I was hoping to be something like that. But um, the width is a little bit more than the Nakiri. And you can see here, there's a notable difference in terms of width. So, yeah, this is my day to day, you know, for normal just preparation of meals. I do use different knives for different purposes. Um, I use that set you saw earlier for like when I'm preparing, you know, holiday meals and whatnot. So lots of food prep is involved. I also have a um, specific knife I use for um, sashimi, which is also a shun. I, I, I my my uh, general preference for kitchen knives is uh, the shun brand. Um, it's a shun um, kiritsuku. So basically, Kiritsuke is uh, sort of the formal Japanese chef knife. And it's a long 10-inch blade, um, so it's great for slicing sashimi and whatnot. Uh, or uh, making, you know, fish for, like, sushi and things like that. So I use different knives for different purposes. Uh, but it sort of, if I were to resort to one knife, this is generally the one I, I resort to. Um, because uh, it basically checks all the boxes for what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis for food prep. But um, kind of jump to a different topic. Really only wanted to bring up uh, the difference between the paka wood and the natural wood. Um, 
Uh, fortunately, I, like I said, I really like Shun knives and most of their knives are with Paco wood. Um, some have the fancier ebony style Paco wood, which is the classic version. I also have one that's uh, sort of a walnut uh, chef's knife, with, um, sort of the pro version and whatnot. So, all right. Thank you so much. Have a good one.